Hi everybody, this is Sherry and I just wanted to show you uh, the next set of 3x3 three three scallop circle cards that I made. These ones were all made with different animal um, images. So I hope you like them. They are a little more difficult for me to color because I have I, I've been practicing more with um, people so but I decided I wanted to do some more of these and I did this one image um, for my mother when I sent her birthday cards up and uh, she loved it so I thought I would try another one I need to when I get a image that I like because I do not like this one as much as the one I made for my mom I'm gonna start myself a um, just a binder and when I get the colors that I like, I'm going to stamp the image and then write in what colors I used because I couldn't remember. So hopefully this will help. And I also started um, with just a small notebook and the colors of like the hair or clothes that I find that I like that blend well together. I write those down and I started like a five star system. You know, like if I really like it, it gets five stars and it'll be a five with a star beside it. And if it's an okay color and I like it, but I might not, you know, be one of my favorites, you know, I do four. And then if I, anything below three, I don't want to do again. So I write those down. So I remember not to try those again because I forget a lot with this stupid brain tumor. So this is kind of helping me keep all my ducks in a row. So here's my, my first one with the turtle, and I really love him, but like I said, the other one was better. I'm learning. And you know, I realized I forgot the color down here in the grass. I'll have to do that before I send it off. And again, I'm going to make these into like a gift set. And it, this one says, Your Tweet, and this is from My Creative Time. It was a free set that she gave um, when you... I believe that's where it's from yeah um, when you ordered something from her over like Memorial Day or Mother's Day or something like that so it was pretty simple just a little bird and um, but I thought it was cute and again it'd make a cute little card to give to somebody and you could even just write happy birthday on the inside and sign your name and put it with a um, gift bag and this is another one of the images. Now this is not one of my favorite. I'm not really thrilled with how my coloring with this one went. Um, but it's from the same uh, My Creative Time set and it was one of their free sets. And I picked the pink backing to go with the stripes on the hat. Um, I wanted to do brown but I was afraid that would kind of just not I, I it would have been more gender neutral but it might not it might have taken away and made this look even more blah than I think it does so I decided to go with a brighter color and hope that that kind of perked up the card but there's that one and you can see that I'm like struggling and working on um, really trying to work and get better with my animal images and I just got a couple really cute animal images, so let's just pray I get better. <laughs> and here's my owl. And this is a Kaiser Craft image, and I've had it for a long time. I don't even know what made me get this image. I mean, I thought it was really cute, but I didn't call her back then. And usually all I got was sentiment stamps because I used my Cricut. But I was real tickled. Um, it took a while and again I didn't write my colors down so I forgot when I wanted to get back because I didn't like something but I still think it turned out okay and I put the little mint green and pink and purple flowers so I went with the mint green paper because I want them to look you know a little chipper but I could still give a mint green for a baby shower gift or something so I thought that was appropriate now I did do five four is what I plan on putting in the uh, card packs but I'd already had 
these images stamped out so I just went with them I'm not sure which four I'm gonna put into the pack and this is another have a swine day and I did one similar to this the last time except I didn't realize I had the sentiment and this is from um, scrappy mom stamps and so I was able to move the pig and I put the little bird on his back again and I was able to move it down so that I had room for the cinnamon at the top and I really like this one I don't know why but I just love the little pig he cracks me up so these are my cards um, again you know I, I don't have a lot of experience yet with the animals and I'm trying to get there so you know but I really like drawing the pe or coloring the people so you know these will kind of be the second thing I learn after I get better at coloring the people but I just wanted to try a set and plus I like the pig and the turtle really well <laughs> but let me know what you think let me know what you think if you would be happy if you were to get something like this as a gift you know because I I think it would be a neat little gift but not everybody would want maybe want such small cards so you know give me your opinion I appreciate your opinion I value you as my subscribers and I'm very blessed and hopefully soon um, next month July 4th is my birthday and so I'm thinking about coming up with um, some kind of a challenge or just giveaway I haven't quite figured it out yet and um, because I'm hoping to reach 500 subscribers I was gonna wait till I got to 500 subscribers but like I said my birthday is next month so I may just turn it into you know a birthday giveaway on July 4th I don't know I haven't figured it out but um, let me know what you think guys and I really appreciate each and every one of you and you know it seems like every day I I check my thing and I get a new subscriber and I I really appreciate it and I appreciate the comments that you leave they're definitely uplifting and encouraging to me you know sometimes when you don't feel well a lot and you feel like all you get to do is sit in a house and and be alone you know and I open up my um, my YouTube channel and you guys have left me comments you really have no idea how much they mean to me and how much how happy they make me they truly do and I just want you all to know how much I appreciate it and um, let me know what you think if I should wait for a 500 subscriber giveaway or do a birthday giveaway give me your opinion in the box below Talk to y'all later. Thanks for visiting me today and happy crafting. Bye.